Now, I want you to cross your right leg over your left, like you're sitting politely, and then drop both legs to the right. So using the right leg to pull the legs down, try to keep the shoulder blades on the floor. Your legs won't necessarily touch because this is a little bit of a different twist, but you'll feel the left side of your body opening up. Now take your left arm, reach it up overhead. So bring your bicep next to your ear, reach that long, and then that stretch moves up the chain. Yep. Timer's still going. Bring that left arm back down, bring the legs back to the middle, switch which leg is on top, and then drop both legs to the left. Get set there, sink into it, feel it for a few counts. and then sweep your right arm up next to your head. And bring that right arm back down and bring both legs back to the center. I want you to go ahead and roll onto your side, push yourself up into a seated position. <laughs> And then open your legs wide and flex your ankles, pull your toes back toward your shins. And now lean into the center and think less about getting your chest to the floor and more about pushing your hip bones toward the floor. That's going to tip your pelvis and that will deepen the stretch without worrying about having to lay down. Go as deep as you can where you feel the stretch but not any excruciating pain. Take deep breaths and try to sink a little bit deeper each exhale. Hands are wherever you need them for help. Sometimes I like to push through my hands. <clears throat> what, what are we stretching here? Inner thigh and probably some hamstrings and maybe calf muscles. Ooh, it's the tightest part. Where do you feel it the most? Inner thigh. Yeah. So much inner thigh. <laughs> and I feel like we should probably be, note to self, I should probably be focusing more on this because for some reason my inner thighs are getting tighter and tighter by the day, um, more than any other muscle really. And I don't know what's up with that. Same, and I feel like it's the one that's the easiest to hurt because I don't realize it's tight. And then I go to swing my leg over something and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, exactly. I know it's like talking to me once in a while when I do certain things and I'm and not exercise, like, like you're saying, I'm like, what, what is happening here? <sighs> All right, sit comfortably. Hands behind you, fingertips pointed away, and then push your chest forward and up. Always have this one on the list. Pull your shoulder blades together. Did those push-ups. Put your head wherever it feels most comfortable on your neck. All right, so don't push your chest forward anymore. Just sit in this position. And then I want you to keep your hands in place, elbows stay straight and start to scoot your butt toward your heels. And if that's not enough, you're gonna feel the front of your shoulders stretching. You can do that again, walk your feet away, scoot your butt a little bit closer to your heels and just feel a nice stretch through the front of the shoulders. You're not pushing your chest forward this time. This is all shoulders. And a good way to get out of it is to push through those heels and push your butt back toward your hands <laughs> so you don't have to strain through the shoulders. Okay, now in this position, I want you to cross your right leg over your left and then walk your left foot closer to your butt. And as you do that, you're gonna feel that nice stretch through your right leg. You can do this one lying on your back, which is how we normally do it, but this is just a different variation. This is one you can do seated in a chair also and just lean forward into your legs. Lots of options on this, such a great stretch. And then relax, come out of that, switch. Left ankle on right knee, start to walk that right foot in closer to you. You can use your arms to kind of push yourself a little bit more upright.
and relax there. All right, sit cross-legged here. Sit nice and tall. Bring your left arm up and then tip to the right. And I want you to be nice and lifted and long. So reach long, but take the left side of your rib cage and kind of reach it up toward the ceiling. Bigger stretch on that side. And then up and over, same thing, other side, right arm up, tip to the left, and then take the right side of your rib cage and reach up for the ceiling. So I'm leaning and then all of a sudden I'm more in a C curve without crunching down on the left side. And relax out of that. And then we'll finish forward fold in this position. Hands can be on your knees, they can be on the floor. I want you to round your back, bring your forehead toward the floor. You can walk your hands forward too if you want that to be a bit of a bigger reach. And sit yourself up, and we're all done for today. Yay, thank you. Thank you so thank much, you. Girl. You're welcome. I'll see you Thursday. Yes.